good morning everyone welcome to Notre Dame de Lorette Paris today our service for Marianne everyone is welcome we invite you to pray to adore God here we have Jesus at the Blessed Sacrament this is why this place is a place of respect and uh, when Jesus is here welcome and God bless us please join me in praying the glorious mysteries in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who has conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray the virtues of faith and joy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, and now that we are of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for hope and seeking the things that are above. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and there shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for hope. I'm sorry. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. We pray for zeal of God, for souls, and love for truth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of our Blessed Mother. We pray for union with God and contemplation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of Mary. We pray for confidence in Mary's intercession. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of 
full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, and now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, and now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, for all the men. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant that we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what we contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, most sacred heart of Jesus, immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, our Lady of Notre Dame de Lorette, Saint Therese of Calcutta. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
haven't seen each other in a while, but I'm Heather Romancic. Um, I'm here to share a few stories about our beloved family and community member, Marianne Nicola Romancic, also known to me as mom. Thank you all for dressing in color and your pops of florals. My mom would adore this. I think wearing colorful outfits was a daily expression of joy for her. I don't know if, a, if an outfit could be too cheerful. Marianne grew up in Nipawa, Manitoba, born to John and Bernice Nikolic. She was the oldest of four sisters. It was Marianne, Chris, Grace, and Paula, or the Fearless Four. Mom had big sister energy and was always finding ways to look out for them as they grew up. Though when it came to stealing baked goods from Grandma's freezer, I think it was everyone for themselves. Mom moved to Winnipeg in her 20s, and there she met my dad, Richard. They married in 1986, and in 1989 they bought a house together, making Lorette their home. They navigated the highs and the lows and the everything in betweens, supporting each other through family, life, and self-employment. Last summer, on July 12th, 2021, they celebrated their 35th wedding anniversary together. For the occasion, they received a letter indicating an apostolic blessing from the Pope. Mom was so proud and hung this letter, framed, in a place of honor above the grand piano. My dad said after, with all due respect to the Pope, the letter is great, but someone who spends 35, married, 35 years married to me deserves a medal. <laughs> Together, Marianne and Richard had three kids, Heather, Sarah, and Nathan. The three of us followed in their footsteps in a variety of ways. I'm told we share her kindness and wealth of talents. Sarah is studying social work and Nathan recently started his own business and I know my mom was so proud of them. In 2015, she also had a beloved grandson, Noah, and together they would play, crack jokes, and have friendly debates on who the cat liked the most. 
Family was very important to mom. She stayed close as the fearless four and with her mother Bernice, often recounting memories and making new ones through holiday dinners, family reunions, and more recently online chats. The sisters took up quilting together, creating beautiful objects of comfort for all of the cousins' high school graduations as we navigated our next steps. Mom felt a deep connection to her dad, my grandpa, who she lost in 1986. He was a musician playing accordion and piano for many community gatherings. I think sharing her musical talents brought her closer to him. She finished her degree in music composition in 2003 and published, published a wide variety of her scores through her business, Prairie Sky Music Publishing. In 2009, some of mom's choral music was being performed near Rome, Italy. So she went to Rome with her sister, Chris. Among many places, they toured the Sistine Chapel and the Vatican, staying at a nun's residence nearby. I know this was a very special pilgrimage for my mom to make. As many of you know, mom sang and played with the parish choir for over 20 years. At one point, she even recruited me to play flute. She took the time to write my own flute harmonies so I couldn't even say no. Because of her passion for choral music, she had already picked out all of her favorite songs and readings and the rosary for the mass we are gathered for here today. My mom taught piano for 25 years. That means there are countless former students who can play music because of her. She organized years of piano recitals for us, and she would say, if you make a mistake, just keep going. Mom would also take carloads of piano students to personal care homes so we could play music for the residents there. Eventually, she went back to school and finished a degree in music therapy so that she could further support clients in care homes with Alzheimer's, dementia, or different disabilities. Practicing music therapy brought her as much joy as she brought to her clients. She worked hard to enrich her clients' lives, practicing new music from different eras and genres. She was always singing around the house, even turning random things that people casually said into songs. <laughs> a couple of months ago, she was asked to offer a music therapy session online. So she set up a Zoom call with me beforehand so that I could advise her on the lighting and sound setup. She wanted to make sure that people could see her face so they could better understand her. We went through the lighting and then onto the sound tests. So she sang with her guitar and we adjusted some levels. But then the levels continued. What about singing with my ukulele? What about egg shaker? This drum? Other drum? What about my wooden frog? I was cracking up. How many instruments was she going to play? Mom was proud of her Ukrainian heritage. She connected with this in many ways, one of them being music, but maybe the biggest one being food. She loved to gather the family together for Ukrainian-inspired feasts. One morning, not long ago, I got a text from my mom. She had created a new group chat with my sister Sarah and I. It was just a picture of someone going, OMG, 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 <laughs> followed by zipper face emoji. I replied, what? Thinking, mom, are you okay? <laughs> a couple minutes later, I get a text back. A picture of the grocery store refrigerator. $15.99, the price of cabbage rolls. Good reason to go into production. For her contributions around town, mom often got paid in cabbage rolls or homemade pierogies, a currency that seemed to suit her well. Once she received a gift certificate for the local grocery store, and I hear she giggled with glee the whole way there, so excited to buy three whole frozen turkeys so that she would have enough to make her beloved turkey soup for the rest of the winter. Another connection to her Ukrainian heritage was her passion for iconography. She painted about 15 different icons. And at first look, these are stylized paintings, but there are actually many steps involved. The intention being to bring the iconographer closer to the figure they are painting, with prayer a part of each step. So one day my dad saw her working carefully, tracing and retracing to get the icon outline transferred onto wood. Always one to look for efficiency, he suggested he could help her speed up the process by flipping the template digitally and printing it out backwards. I hear she was pretty shocked. You'd be skipping so many steps and all of the prayers. I think he learned a little bit about iconography after that. Several years ago, an icon of Jesus and Mary appeared on the front cover of the monthly church missile, Living with Christ. 
One family friend told me recently that she saw the icon on the cover and thought it was so beautiful she needed to know who painted it. When she flipped to the inside cover, it said, Marianne Romancic. So she brought this to the coffee house the next Sunday and started telling everyone, Marianne painted this. I think my mom was pretty pleased to be featured. She did tell me about it after, but I think she also wanted her work to speak for itself. Speaking of her religious studies, every evening after supper at around 7.30, as per our cat Sneaky's loud request, she would settle into her blue chair with the cat, a cozy quilt, a cup of tea, and her latest book. She'd text me, Sneaky and I are reading, followed by a picture. I can confidently say that Se Sneaky knows more about the life of Mother Teresa of Calcutta than any other cat. <laughs> what did you do today, she would ask. I'd list a few things. I was at the theater, and then I'd ask her back, what did you do today? She'd say something like, I had a lazy day, and name a selection of things. She baked some bread, or went for a walk, did some gardening, had a nap, read, practiced her guitar, went for a bike ride. A lazy day full of things that she loved. She did love to bike from riding around Haley Nipawa as a teenager to family bike rides around Lorette. My dad said recently she liked to go on these long bike rides, but he realized he wasn't sure how much of her time was spent exercising and how much was stopping to chat. If you go on an hour-long bike ride, but you stop to talk to 10 people. Sarah said, I hope they have bicycles in heaven because mom has a lot of people to visit. My mom was always finding new ways to donate her time. During her 30 plus years in Lorette, she played and sang for weddings and funerals, offered grief support, led a course called Listening to Indigenous Voices. She helped with baptism prep. She was recently head of pastoral council. She organized coffee houses, helped make welcome bags for newcomers to Lorette. She visited people who were sick and brought them communion, brought meals and care packages to people going through a hard time. She recruited volunteers for many different tasks. I think many of us might have that common thread at one point, we've been recruited or voluntold by Marianne. In the last couple of years, she decorated the church weekly with things she was given for free, thrifted, or brought from home. Some of the decorations, and I think most of the plants here, are from her. My parents recorded over a year's worth of masses to share online when people couldn't come to the church. For years, every Monday, she would pick up extra bread from the food bank in Lorette and drive to the soup kitchen in Winnipeg to help serve food with the missionaries of charity. Mom's passing has been so hard for many reasons, one of them being that many of us feel like her work here was not done. She certainly left a legacy to follow. I hope we can find ways to honor her and her big heart. Thank you so much for all of your community support. It really reflects back to us how special Marianne was and how much she means to us all. My mom and I had a countdown until spring. We talked about how she was so tired of the storms and we were waiting for it to warm up so we could both start planting. My mom used every free patch of her yard to keep a luscious garden, planting vegetables, herbs, raspberries, and flowers for the butterflies. Sarah said that mom reminds her of a butterfly. She's a calm, gentle presence, but always fluttering around from place to place, colorful and bright and full of delight creating connections like flowers and helping people grow, leaving things better than she found them. Rest easy, Mom, and I'll talk to you soon. The 
Parish, everyone, family, friends, and um, all people who are here. Because I know in many ways Marianne was in our heart and um, she was bringing us to God. I appreciate the presence of Father, the, the priest, the priest of a uh, Ukrainian community, also uh, Father. Uh, um, Armand Legal, today Father Gerard Michaud, the Sisters of Charity, because I know she loves a lot you. We were together there many times to help the Sisters of Charity and thank you for because you are here today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We believe in the hope in the presence of the Lord. God is with us. And um, any time the Lord would like to come to us, to stay with us and to bring to eternal life. In many ways, we need to prepare ourselves for eternal life. Everything will pass. But God never will pass, never. This is why Marianne offered her life to God. Everything will pass. She was still young, 61 years. But we belong to God. One day we are going to see, to see the Lord. I hope you can stay prepared. That is the most important. Life will pass. But the eternal life is forever. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. 
Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us with all who have died in the hope of the resurrection to have the consummation and the bliss in this eternal and everlasting life in glory. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints to receive the crown of the life of Marianne, who follow always the promise of the Lord and in victory she can proclaim always the name of Jesus Christ his life, his resurrection, who lives and reigns with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We can see it. We are going to hear the first reading, the psalm that uh, will be um, a song, and after the second reading, and um, the gospel in Hopefully. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-aged wines strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation for the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to
A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. We have this treasure in clay vessels, so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our bodies. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Just as we have the same spirit of faith that is in accordance with scripture, I believed and so I spoke, we also believe and so we speak because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and will bring us with you into his presence. Yes, everything is for your sake, so that grace, as it extends to more and more people, may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. The word of the Lord. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. God loved the world so much, he gave us his only that all who believe in him might have eternal life. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days, Mary set out to visit Elizabeth. After hearing her greeting, Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with the favor of the law on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will come, we call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me, and holy is his name. God's mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown them strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the, in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and they lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. The Lord has helped his servant Israel in a remembrance of his mercy in according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months then return to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When Richard came with the desire of Marianne to the funeral, She had planned everything. That was amazing. Because she 
she did maybe that many years ago, but she was preparing her life, not here only, but the eternal life. And when I saw the readings, I talked to the family. I said, I think she was preparing to stay in the presence of the Lord, to be the servant of the Lord, to serve people, to help people, and to stay close to the Lord. She was preparing her own life to God, and how that is important, because the same Lord is inviting us any, any time for conversion. We can see, when I see Marianne, I can see this person who always was serving people, was always is attentive to God, Sometimes I joke with her, Marianne, how you have time for your family? She said, yes, Father, but my Lord is first. Jesus is first always. You call me, I need to attend you. And um, in the readings today, she shows some things, and some readings that she likes to serve people, to stay in the presence of the Lord, to help people to have this... Uh, proximity with God, to stay with God. And um, when you can see the faith, Marianne's faith, we can see always she was attracted by God. And she liked to stay in the presence of the Lord. In my personal opinion, she was really well prepared. Do you know, in the last two years, she finished all the courses that we we did at the parish in evangelization with um, Jesus in the gospel, with um, um, the new life in the Holy Spirit, I was taking also courses for Bible in a year with Father Smith sometimes. She finished also the prayer and life workshop. And she said, Father, do you know how I love that? How that is important for me? to stay with God, to know more about God. And this uh, prayer and life workshop helped me a lot. Thank you, Father, for doing that. And um, I know now I miss my friend because practically we meet every day. Even the day of the, and she suffered the accident, she sent me a message saying, informing Father, I am going now. The day when she was leaving, she, we were really close. And I appreciate that, because for me it was really important. We passed the difficult moments that the pandemic brought to us in many ways, because it was difficult to us. Do you know sometimes we meet four times a day because the pandemic? the changes of the province, the changes of the diocese, to try to do the best for people. And many people don't understand that. She said, Father, what we can do together? But many people just criticize, and I know that was hard for her, because she talked to me. And she was always saying, what we can do for our parish? She was attentive to do that. And sometimes I say to her, do you know, I have not many people, but you are really important for me. Not many people to help like you. No, I have not, just you. Yes, that is true. Why that happened? I think God like to show us that he is the most important and we belong to God. We came from God and we are going to God. We need to be prepared. That is the most important. And Maria knows that. Always for her, the most important is spiritual life. Family was important for sure, but the spiritual life is the most important. Because this spiritual life is the one who brings us to eternal life. And always she was attentive to the word of God, trying to do the best that she can do. One thing that happened before Lent. <laughs> was amazing because we were friends. And I bring some food from, from uh, Colombia. The name is Buñuelos. And um, I was thinking in her and also the family. I, I brought 
12 and 8 I select for her because I know you as a family love also other cultures and other things and we were open and I like that. And um, I gave for her eight. And I talked to her, Marianne, two for you, two for Richard, two for Sarah, and two for Noah. Okay, everyone at home will receive that. She said, okay, Father. When we were together, that was Tuesday, um, the last of uh, Tuesday of February, I talked, I ate, I eat, I eat in two, she also she has it in two. And the day after she said, Father, forgive me. I didn't share nothing with the one. <laughs> Amazing your food, Father. But if you can bring more, I can maybe share with them. <laughs> I said, no, now it's Lent, I cannot do that, but it was amazing. And then we share, yes, and many times also at home, when we were together, the alarm set up because we were talking and talking about the parties, the things that we need to do, and also the, the alarm start because some um, smoke. Father, please call Richard. I said, oh, any time when we are doing something here, something happened. But it's amazing, good, nice and histories. And I have the opportunity also to, to travel with them. We went to Steep Rock, and I think this is spirituality, Marianne's spirituality is amazing. I know she is in heaven. Because all her life was directed to God. Normally I don't, do, I don't say that. But she, because her life, because her talents that she offered always to God, always. And she, Offered to God those things. When um, we, we were, I was preparing the, the homily, I said, I, I cannot prepare many things because that is, these readings are the Marianne's life. Serving people like Elizabeth. Received the visit of Mary. And she, when she needs, or she knows that someone needs, she was able to go. When um, Heather was talking about uh, the eulogy, yeah, that is true. She visited many people and she helped the parish. But also, we prepare people for baptism. We visit people when they are sick, when they need. And I said, I need to have someone, and I cannot go alone. I don't know many people, I don't know this. And she said, Father, if I can, I will be there with you. Yeah, she was really closer to me. And I, today I can say thanks to God for that, for her life. More than asking why that happened, I like to say thanks God, because we have this opportunity to have Marianne in our lives. And you as a family, you have this grace. And always you can say thanks God for my mom, for Marianne as a wife, Richard. You know the community loves you and that is the demonstration of that how they love you and how Marianne was and is important. I, can, I don't like to say was because she, was, she is important. Many things that she did will remain in our parish, will stay with us. And for that we like to say thank you. For the people that he assists, for music, as a therapist, bringing peace, love in the presence of the Lord, the Sister of Charity, the people in our parish, and I know our parish need to say always to her, thank you. Thank you for the things that she offered to us, that she was bringing to us, but especially the faith, the presence of the Lord, the hope, and now the evidence that because she is sure that God exists and we are going to be prepared to eternal life, that uh, everything here will pass. But eternal life, not. I love to have many people like Marianne with this faith. That they is able to say, yes, I believe. I like to serve people. I like to do my best. And recognizing that how many good things God did in Mary, Mother of God. Because she was also 
Marian. Not only in, in the name, but she prayed and she did the Holy Rosary practically every day. How that is important, this attraction. And uh, I talked yesterday that, uh, about the La Pietà. was on the, the, the image that she loves more. And once she, she talked to me, Father, how that is beautiful to see Mary with Jesus in, in her arms. When that happened, I, I can see Mary in the hands of Mary. Marianne in the hands and the arms of Mary. Because she loves Mary, mother of God, and our mother, the mother of the church. And um, she believes in resurrection. She believes in eternal life. And that, uh, true, is uh, finished for her because she can see the Lord. I have to invite you to prepare also and to help people to do your best in your spiritual life. You are spiritual, yes, because you, we came from God. It's our reality. Our image, our real image is in the presence of the Lord. And it's God who is inviting us for eternal life. It's God who is inviting us for conversion. And also through people like Marianne, we can receive the blessings of the Lord. We can imitate her in many ways, also you, family. In how many ways Marian bring to you blessings from the Lord? The unity, the love, and the happiness. Even if people think that Marian was serious, no. Maybe with some people, I don't know, but she was an amazing person. She can smile. And she was really very, very good person. Not perfect. No, but one person who we love a lot. And we ask the Lord to, to receive her in heaven. And thanks, and I'm thankful because she has received the sacraments. And uh, prior to going to die, also received the anointing of the sick. Do you know, I confess to you, for me, that is really important. Because if one person receives in life anointing of the sick, all the sins are forgiven. All the sins. How that is important. And who brings that? It's God, the same Lord. I invite you to, to pray and also to pray for this family, amazing family, and for parents and for our parish. Because we need to grow more in the presence of the Lord. Here, Jesus is the center, always. This is why Mary can be here, people, but Jesus is here. Jesus Christ in the Holy Eucharist, who is inviting us for life, who is inviting us to bring the Spirit of Jesus Christ in our life, is our only Savior and Redeemer, is Jesus Christ. Is the most deepest sense of our lives. God bless you. And uh, I didn't did a homily exactly, but uh, I tried to say that resurrection is important and God is important for everyone. And we can see all or some points of Marianne offered to us to think about eternal life, to think about our life and our relation with God. God bless you. After every prayer, we can answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God, Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from the dead with confidence we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. For our dear sister Marianne, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that she now be admitted to the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our sister Marianne, who was nourished at the table of the Savior daily, that she may be welcomed into the halls of the heavenly banquet, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families and friends, so that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, 
that they may see God face to face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. I invite you to pray in your own time for Marianne, for you, for yourself, for your family, for this parish, for your conversion, for our time with the Lord, for the change of every day that the Lord is inviting us to do, and to see people like Marianne that we admire, and through Marianne we can follow the Lord. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters, especially Marianne. Cleanse her or her sins and grant her the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. to the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life receive the wine we offer you through the divine and work of human hands you will become for us Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which yourself have bestowed, that can help us and also Marianne to achieve eternal salvation. To, be, to stay with you and to recognize you as, as our Savior, our Creator, and our Redeemer. For this, our mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For even through by our own fault we perish, yet by your compassion and your grace, when there's says that by death, according to our sins, we are redeemed through Christ's great victory and with him called back to, into life. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Amen. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of, you, of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember uh, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Albert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Marianne, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also all our brothers and sisters, especially those who die in war, people of Ukraine, family members, friends, and all who have fallen in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with all the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout this ages, we may merit to, in, to, co, to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, glory and honors is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Love God. I love God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be with you. Oh 
Purify our, our minds, O oh Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise uh, in this time to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the incense that we are going to offer for Marianne can go in the most, in the most go in heaven, also to receive us, our prayers, and Marianne in eternal life. be 